Hey guys, welcome back to Small Screen Shakedown. Today we'll talk about three Nickelodeon stars that are coming out against Dan Schneider. Let's head into it. Accused by Nickelodeon stars. Nickelodeon shows like The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, iCarly, and others produced by Dan Schneider would be familiar to kids who grew up in the 1990s and 2000s for their time on Nickelodeon. Stars like Amanda Bynes, Drake Bell, Josh Peck, Victoria Justice, Miranda Cosgrove, and Ariana Grande have become household names. Following several talks together about next paths and potential prospects, Nickelodeon and our longtime creative partner, Dan Schneider slash Bakery Schneiders, have decided to not extend the current contract. Deadline said of Dan's departure, since his exit, social media users have been accusing him of grooming young actors who appeared on his shows. Staff members had lodged complaints complaints about Dan and his abusive nature. According to Deadline, another source of concern, which many would dismiss at first, is the pictures of young female stars he's collaborated with that he shared on Twitter. As the hashtag MeToo movement gained traction, many people took to Twitter to criticize Dan, accusing him of bullying his female actresses and labeling him a purr for implying a fondness for feet. Victoria Justice. Victoria Justice wrote this online. I was a little shocked that she's still cool with his dude after seeing all of those crazy ass scenes with Ari from Victorious. I completely imagined Ari looking back at those scenes and not agreeing with them. So I was a little surprised that she's still friendly with him. It's not easy. Man, teens are easily exploited. Particularly if the person in question is the show's entire director, Sean Flynn. Sean said the following. Dan Schneider has known Nick for quite some time. I recall him being a frequent guest on the original All That. As a result, a large number of actors and crew members may have come forward. Maybe Schneider is part of a larger, heinous plot, and Peck is a scapegoat for a slew of other predators. And maybe people are just lumping Schneider in with people like Brian Peck because no one remembers Peck. Who knows? But if people came forward about Peck when Schneider was working at Nick, why wouldn't people come forward about Schneider as well? Unless he's innocent? Schneider, on the other hand, had to be mindful of what his co-workers were up to and either turned a blind eye or actively encouraged and shield them. Matthew Underwoods. The following is what Matthew Underwoods said. Dan Schneider, in my view, is a complete creep at the very least. Although the proof is all circumstantial, it is there. I bet my life that someone would come forward one day and reveal him and confirm that it is currently just a rumor. With that said, blaming his future victims and people he might have groomed is simply not an option. In so many ways, it's incorrect. The cast of Victorious may be adults now, but they grew up on his set most likely under his control. People who are potential victims of his and who were kids when they met him should never, ever bear the blame or be expected to come forward. Schneider, as well as any adult who encouraged his mess up, inappropriate conduct, bear responsibility, blaming Ariana, because let's face it, people seem to be focusing on their criticism and blame on her alone out of the entire cast is shameful and unethical. But there are plenty of evidence worth reading as well. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.